In this video, we'll discuss what is aphasia and provide examples of how to most effectively communicate with your family member with aphasia. What is aphasia? Aphasia is an acquired language disorder. It is estimated that there are 180,000 new cases of aphasia per year in the United States. The National Institute of Deafness and Other Communication Disorders estimates that approximately 1 million people, or 1 in 250 in the United States today, are living with aphasia. Some common causes of aphasia are stroke, traumatic brain injury, brain tumors, surgery or infections, and progressive neurological diseases such as dementia. What is transcortical motor aphasia? Transcortical motor aphasia is generally characterized by halting and effortful speech. With transcortical motor aphasia, content words may be preserved, but the grammar may be impaired. Repetition of speech may be challenging. People with transcortical motor aphasia have a strength in language comprehension as compared to their verbal expression. We'll use this picture for reference in the next examples. A person with transcortical motor aphasia may look and sound like the following. Tell me what you see in this picture. Uh, um, uh, and, uh, um, at, at, um, Dog and great, thank you. As you can see, a person with transcortical motor aphasia may have difficulty speaking. Their comprehension is typically better than their verbal expression. Do you have blonde hair? Yeah. Do you have blue hair? Are we outside? Okay. Are we at the library? Are we at the hospital? Do you eat eggs before you cook them? Is a mouse smaller than a lion? Great, thanks. As you can see, the person's comprehension of questions is better than their verbal expression. They may also understand directions better than they can state their wants and needs. Pick up the towel. Pick up the sock. Pick up the plate. Pick up the glasses. All right. Now I want you to pick up the towel and the plate. Put the sock on the plate. Great. Pick up the towel and the glasses. Great. Let's do one more. Pick up the plate and the glasses. Additionally, a person with transcortical motor aphasia may have difficulty verbally expressing themselves in conversations. Where are you from? Um, uh, at, um, um, uh, at, at, uh, what are some of your hobbies? Um, 
at a, I, um, at a, I can't. Okay. Do you have a family? These videos highlight how a person with transcortical motor aphasia has difficulty with expressive language. Their language comprehension is stronger than their expression. A person with transcortical motor aphasia may understand what you are saying, but has a difficult time responding. However, they may be able to repeat words or phrases you say with relative ease. Please repeat the following phrases. Dog. Dog. Bed. Bed. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> the sky is blue. Uh, sky blue. The white rabbit ate the carrot and cabbage. Uh, white rabbit. Great, thanks. As you saw, repeating words or phrases is relatively intact. As you heard, the patient has difficulty with expressive language. An individual with transcortical motor aphasia may be aware of their communication difficulties, which may result in frustration. People with transcortical motor aphasia may have difficulty with expressive language, based on the severity of their diagnosis. For example, the following tasks may be difficult for a person with aphasia. Single words, sentences, or conversations. Despite difficulty with expressive language, they may have a relative strength in repetition, Language comprehension abilities may vary, however. It is the strength as compared to expression. Some things you can do to help your loved one with aphasia. Allow additional time to respond. Limit distractions, only one person talking at a time, and make sure to turn off the TV or close the door. As appropriate, encourage the use of gestures or pictures to help facilitate communication. Do include the person with aphasia in conversations and decisions. Be patient. Encourage your loved one to keep trying to communicate, even if it's frustrating. Don't jump in and finish every phrase for them. However, provide assistance when requested. And make sure not to talk over them. It is anticipated that communication will improve over time as you learn how to most effectively interact with them. Thank you for watching this video about aphasia. We hope you find this information helpful as you learn how to help your loved one through this challenging time. If you have any questions or would like further information or resources, please be sure to talk with your speech language pathologist, doctor, or rehab educator.